face 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 naturally boy you're beautiful people how are you today you feel like singing you know you feel good when you feel like singing how you doing how are you tonight tonight how you doing real quick video so we got some issues I told y'all before all races we all have our issues sorry I'm just on my own <clears throat> and yes, I have been sip sipping. So we're gonna call this part two of the sip sip wine vlog. Um I did write down some things though. Yeah, write down some things. Some things I want to talk about. So bear with me if I'm a little slow motion right now. Hopefully, you're sitting back, relaxed. So, you're not in a hurry anyway. Stick with me. All right, we're going to talk about some interesting topics. You know, because that's what these dialogues are for. For us. These conversations are for us. So, converse with me. I can't wait till I get enough subscribers so that I could do live, you know, converse with me. So comment below if you have thoughts, comments, suggestions, <laughs> anything you want to add, share your experiences, share. Okay, the title of this video, well, you already know because you clicked on it. But thank you for clicking. Before I forget that, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for subscribing, liking this video, sharing with your friends, your family. Thank you, baby. Appreciate you. Fathers blame mothers, and mothers blame the babies. And blame the babies. It's a cycle. A cycle that I believe that our generation is creating. It's my belief. This is just me. I believe the generation before us had a different cross to bear, had different experiences. They didn't experience this whole pandemic issue and um, whatever else we, we we had to go through as parents you know so we're homeschool parents you know a lot of us was homeschooling before the pandemic you know because they was woke like I ain't not putting it on the system to you know I, can, I ain't got time to put my baby in public school yeah I don't have time that's, that's not on my agenda. It wouldn't even fit. <laughs> so, a lot of us was on it before, but you know, as if y'all follow me, y'all know I had went back. I put my baby back in public school, and I went back to work. You know, um, coming a single mom again, I had to get out there, and move around. You know, I could do it while I was involved, but. After that, it's hard. It's hard to do it while you're a single parent. Um, I take my hat, my shoes, my jacket off for the mothers that are doing homeschool and they are a single parent working from home. I needed an outlet. It, it's possible. It's, it's definitely possible, you know, because I, I braid hair. I do my own hair. 
uh, all the styles that you see me wear, I do my own. Um, you know, and I, I try to help people with little tasks and little things they want to learn. So I charge to those little things. Um, other things, uh, I have other hustles. You know, I shovel snow, you know. Y'all already know. My followers, my true followers, and, or I don't want to say followers because I really do even like that, like that idea of a follower because we all leaders, we all should be leaders. We, I mean, this is the age of awakening. Well, that was the age of awakening. And this is the time for create, creation, you know. Come on now. We all leaders. We don't need nobody following. So I really don't like that term. So I say supporters. So to all my supporters, thank you. All right, so let me stay on track. Mothers, fathers blame mothers. Mothers blame the babies. And we gotta stop this cycle. We have to. It is so, so vital to our longevity, to our babies, to the, to the ones that really matter. It is so, so, so important. I think if I get tired of standing up, I'm going to sit on my little trusty, dusty stool while them taped her up. And then she got to be resourceful. Time for some new tape, though. Because stuff's going to stick. So whatever clothes you need, yeah, it's time for some new duct tape. I got it to seal. <laughs> tape it up. Anyway, uh, we have to stop blaming one another. And a lot of times we do it subconsciously. We don't even realize that we're aiming our anger, that we're aiming our frustration, that we're agitated with this person majority of the time and they never even did anything. Just what they say, how they say it. Everything just hurts. Why you chewing that gum? Ugh, stop. Ugh. When it gets to that point, you shouldn't even be around that person. It's unhealthy. It's an unhealthy relationship. That's my advice. You know, y'all know my disclaimer. I'm not a psychologist, but I do my little studies. I do my little research, okay? So, I want to talk about a few things. But when I say fathers bring mothers, mothers bring children, I am talking about some of us, some, not all, I'm not stereotyping you. If you feel the pressure, if you feel like there's pressure from my words, if y'all hear that water in the background, as y'all know, I have a 75 gallon tank and I have a 10 gallon tank in the other room. And yeah, so that's the water you're putting, the filter. Um, so, you know, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about some of us. I'm talking about what I see. You know? So, um, I got some stuff wrote down. And I'm just going to be referring to my paper so that I don't forget anything. Because this is, you know, I want it to be a free flowing discussion. But I'm standing there talking to a screen so I have to go and go to my to my thoughts. But I'm just sharing information that I've learned, my experiences and things that I've, you know, did research. And understand. I understand from my I understand better from my experiences now that I you know, I lived it. So the reason why I say that we have deficiencies in parenting is because, like I said, that cycle, the, those cycles, and you see the effect in the kids and the children and the babies. There's an effect, and we see a lot of our babies on the news doing things and committing crimes, and it's just like, why? Why what? What, what happened? 
what happened, why? And I'm not just talking about our people, I'm talking about all races. And you're like, why? And we think like, okay, the best parents, even the best parents have deficiencies, all right? But the best parents sometimes could really be the worst parents. They really can. And uh, when I talk about these things, I'm talking about things that I experienced. I had to learn. I had to go through myself. I had to reflect and transform. It's important to be able to transform. Yeah. Voltron. Yeah. Bumblebee. It's important to be able to transform into the person that you desire because you can pick up on behavioral, learn behavioral, you know, things that you don't even desire to to behave in that way. You don't want to whoop your children because you didn't like whooping. You didn't. You don't want to. Um, um, I don't know. You don't want to whatever, smack your kids in the mouth or whatever. You know, you don't want to physically hit them or physically punish them, physically discipline them. You wanted to do something different. And that was me. That was me. That was me. But with three boys and well, four kids all together, three boys, I had to learn. Sometimes you got to get you gotta get tough. All that Claire Huxley, it worked with Theo. And it worked with Theo because Theo was the only boy. That's the only way, reason why it worked with Theo. Because <laughs> he was the only boy. And she had them other four girls, so Theo was already mouth sauce. You know what I mean? But three boys on top of. Well, I ain't gonna say on top of one mama, but you know what I mean? The three, three boys. At one time, talking to you, or trying to get your attention, or jumping, or doing something, or flipping, or climbing on top of something to get your attention, it's a lot. It's a lot. Because they, they rough, and they do that type of stuff. You know, mama, look. Look what I could do. Yeah. Okay, so, I wanted to really make this video for some of the people who like myself, we need to transform. Sometimes we have to wake up. We have to see the error in our ways, but that's gross. See, I'm the type of parent where I believe you, sh if you make a mistake, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally, you should apologize. Just because you are the parent, you're the bigger person, you're the adult, that how are you gonna teach your children anything if you don't apologize? I just always felt like whoopings was so redundant. Like all you gotta do is just get used to it, and you're gonna get immune to it. Cause that's what I did, and I know I have little cousins that did the same thing. They were immune. Got so many whoopings, pops, hits, whatever, smacks, just immune to it. And still act out. So, why are we continuing the same slave master way? We gotta change. We gotta change that way. Now, I'm not saying don't pop your child if you feel like it's come on now. Do what you gotta do. I'm not. I'm not in your house, so I can't tell nobody how to parent. But I'm just saying that. We need dialogues like this. We need actually a panel, because that's what I want to do eventually. A panel of parents, doctors, you know, different fields. Um, parents that just believe in change. That want to sit down and discuss change. Want to talk about what we're feeding our children. How we're feeding them. How often we're feeding them. 
you know, the places we're letting them go, the social media outlets that we're letting them go on. You know, we got to be able to put each other on because if we are in the dark, our children is going to follow the light and lead. I mean, follow somebody else's way. And we're not going to have the leaders that we're trying to push for. And if we're trying to grow leaders, we need, we need our babies to learn from us and not all this social media and these outside mechanisms. And not just us. I'm not saying just us as parents, just us, just us. But, I mean, now it's solely on us because they're home. But I'm saying, like, the intricacies of life the whole detailed things in life that you need in order to get over that hurdle. If you even got to go through that hurdle, you might not even have to go through it. You might be the one type of person who can just listen and be guided, advise, you know, ask questions and communicate like, okay, mama, uh, I'm struggling with this. How can I figure this out? How can I solve this problem? You know, that's what we're here for as parents. That's what we want to do as parents. We want to guide, want to advise. We don't want to just dictate, dictate, dictate all the time. Control, control, control. Who wants to be a narcissistic parent? It's hard. It's hard. But you can traumatize your child, your behavior. And right now with these kids in the house, with all these parents, I feel for these kids. I mean, they learn a lot of stuff at school, but they learn it from a vast many. So they only pick up a few little things from here, that, and uh, you know. I'm a, I mean, picking up, being around somebody 24, 7. That's hard. So I'm happy for those that have went back to school and are able to move around and, you know, feel a little normal. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that things get back to our new normal very soon, you know, when the weather change. That's what I'm looking forward to. I don't plan on sending my babies to school anytime soon. Um, but, you know, I just feel like, um, back to stay on subject. <laughs> back to our subject. I just feel like um, we have to, we have to require the next generation to do better, we're not required. Um, that's a bad term because I don't want to make it seem like we're, we have to put this extra pressure on them. We want to be able to guide them because the pressure is what makes them break. Putting too much pressure on a lot of, especially these suburban kids. And that's, you see it a lot. Well, I don't say especially the, the, the the city kids have it hard too. It's hard everywhere for kids. But suburban kids are sheltered and coddled from the real world and they can't function. So that's when they end up being like permanent vessels in their parents' home. They ain't going nowhere. They that 31, 32, still there in the basement. You know, so a lot of uh and or and and or they end up you know totally struck out from the church and the parents are neighbors I see that a lot with the suburban kids and I, I believe that's a cycle um, just like I said I'm saying that the parents and that's a cycle that that can be broken if the parents decide not to be the enabler because 
then they also, if that, that child had children, they also end up becoming that parent for that next generation and doing the same thing to that child. But a lot of times that child sees that parent in that state, that crackhead type of state, and then they go the opposite direction. So it, it varies. But I do say that I am so proud. If you are, or anyone that you know, is a child who have overcome drug addiction, because drug addiction runs in my family. And that's why I drink sparingly. Um, or, or I say sporadically, if I feel, you know what I mean, if I get a bottle of wine, I might take it out in two days. But then I might not have another bottle for another two or three weeks, you know. Or, um, you know, hard stuff. If I get something hard, it's going to last me for months. It's just going to be here, sitting here. So I'm not a drinker, you know, but drug addiction does, you know, it surfaces heavily in my family, you know, and um, that's a cycle that had to be broken, you know, so I, I'm so proud of my parents, I'm so proud of everyone who overcame the the cycle of addiction, because drug addiction is a serious thing, that crack is a mother, mother, mother. So, I feel like we need, like I said, like a panel, we need like a call to action, call to action, call for action, call in action, something. We need a call. We need a, um, uh, what they, what they call it or not? a mantra for just change just elevation right now what I'm seeing is a lot of fathers that are angry with the mothers even if they not even with them they're angry with mothers so they're yelling and they're you know they're not doing what they've supposed to do as fathers they're neglectful you know to their children you know um just letting children wild out you know what i mean or you know just a lot of different things you know but why would you be angry with your child's mother whether you're with her or not with her because you got to take, take care of child you can't be <laughs> angry because the child is here and then I see it's like a reverse. Well, not, not a reverse, but it's like a, a, a chain reaction. The, the fathers get mad with the mothers. Then the mothers take it out on the children. And you ain't seeing your daddy because he ain't doing right. He ain't. So it's, it's, we keep blaming each other and then it's just, they go back and forth. Then she blaming him and then he blaming her and then we blaming each other. And it's right back and forth. And who, who's getting neglected? Ultimately. I mean, in the beginning of the day, when you wake up every day, who's, who's smiling? Or who should be smiling? The parents ain't smiling. Well, if they're together and they're angry at each other, if you angry and you going to sleep angry and you mad at each other, you still got to live with your sister. That's it. That makes for an angry household. And then it festers and it makes it build. And then, and then she sees traumatic, more traumatic experiences on top of whatever else she done already seen or he done seen or whatever. Who needs that? Nobody. So we don't really realize our day-to-day -day routine and our day-to-day -day actions and our day-to-day -day conversations on the phone, whatever our children hear and see, it has an effect on them. I try not to do, and not that I try to shield and protect my kids because they're suburban kids, but I try to 
make sure they seeing what they supposed to see and they're not seeing what they don't need to see. So I don't send them over people's houses. I don't, um, I don't let, allow them to just have their phones and just be, you know, surfing and surfing. No, not even my 13 year old. Well, to a certain extent, he gets phone time. And I don't sit on his shoulder and monitor it. But, and I don't have like blocks or nothing on his phone. So, I mean, well, YouTube, but I don't know. I can't block everything. So, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be when you get a little bit older. You get about 16, you see? And then that's the thing. Like, you get a 16-year-old and you got 10-year-olds or, you know, 7-year-olds. Well, he'll be a little bit older then, but. And they influence the younger ones to do more. So it's it's hard parenting either way it goes. That's what I said. It's no handbook for this. So I like talking about parenting. I like discussing parenting situations. Like I just get excited, especially when I have a conversation with a brother who like really down with his kids, like on the day to day to day to day. And he can tell me about interactions and things they do. I love, like y'all know, I'm just like a coup for uh, single fathers. I be like, oh, especially when they're small, the kids are small. Oh. You know, when kids, big kids off of what they did, yeah. I mean, who knows? You never know who was the kid, who was the father, who was what these days. So, um, yeah, when they small and they, you know, taking care of the baby, they pushing the stroller. It just warms my heart. I don't know. It's just something rare. It's not often. And, I mean, when you see it now, it's like, it's too gay to lose. So, I'm not hating on nobody. If you're a father, you're a father. Gay or not gay, whatever. Do you think, whatever. Whatever. That's how you live your life. I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying um now when i'm seeing a lot of you know the guys it's like their little family versus you know dad holding down while mama out there like taking care of business or getting her nails done you know what I mean? or whatever but um let me see what else i got on this paper I don't say that basically uh, the main point of this of this um, video. I just feel like a lot of things can be changed, and if we work together, we can change. We have to change for our babies. Excuse me, decision with these braids. If y'all. You know, black girls and they braids. It's just it's hard. It's hard. Especially when you do them yourself and you be proud. Like, I did that. I did that. So, yeah, I say apologies. Apologize to your babies. Apologize. That's one way to transform. We transform and we change and we have self healing, self care, self love. All over here. <laughs> Y'all know I'm self love, self love, self love 24 7. And I'm nothing but self love. And that's what keeps me grounded. Especially when it's been cold and nasty outside and I can't go outside and get my feet in the grass. Yes, that's what keeps me grounded. I haven't even been doing my yoga. I mean, look at myself. I'm trying to hold it in for y'all. It's getting fat. I've been eating crazy snacks, going up there to Miss Serenity, tanning it up, get my grub on. So, uh, I did watch this one TED Talk. I watched a, a couple, um, they weren't all TED Talks, but I watched a couple videos about parenting, parenting and parenting education and just learning different techniques of parenting styles and, you know, I always like to hear different things that's why i feel like that's what we go to school for 
you go to school because like if you have a passion or a skill or whatever you already have that it's in you it's naturally you got it it's like with football if you talented football player or a uh, pool player whatever you might go to a school or take a course or whatever to pick up on some improvements some techniques some of those hints some hacks like my, my kids always I'm like it's a hack for this it's a hack for that they got a hack for everything um uh, they need a hack for that they ain't gonna gain something better i like the whole game system thing like i used to love super nintendo when sega came out mortal kombat yeah i love i like the whole entertaining thing is not harming anyone it's in the house it's okay it's it's fine but when it becomes an addiction baby it's time to turn it off it's time to turn that right off take that thing and get rid of it for real i mean they get me so heated with that so i don't want to talk about that we we'll move on we we'll move on back to the conversation so we got to do better as mothers and fathers we got to do better for our babies like all that arguing and bickering especially if you ain't you're not together you know you can't even call his phone because he got attitude you know and he gonna give you attitude and you she can't uh, the, i mean come to your house because you don't gotta meet at the corner store and i mean just all kinds of stuff i mean have you gotta solve your issues you gotta solve your issues but the point is the child is the most important thing and when y'all was doing y'all thing and getting busy you was getting along with a fine y'all was getting along with each other fine everything was good everything was great so why can't we now put our feelings to the side put our emotions to the side put our anger to the side and a lot of times it be jealousy it, it's jealousy it's like deep-rooted jealousy like deep 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 in your heart it might even be down in your stomach you know what I mean? like deep in your soul that jealousy that's what it is. One parent doing better. One parent got moved on, got a got a new mate, you know, whatever. You know, one parent got a new car. Who cares? I, that's one thing I don't vibe off. I don't vibe off superficial thing. I don't vibe off new love. I would be happy for people when they be in new love. I love it. I can't really say honestly that it's been anybody that I've actually seen, like what well, ex, you know, ex wives that I've actually seen, or even somebody that I potentially was like, oh, I wanted to, I, I liked him, I was interested in him, but I see he married, you know, and I'm like, oh no, I should break them up. Why? Love is so important and vital to our community, baby. If we're not loving on each other, if we're not spreading love, if we don't have, if you don't have love in your house, then why would you not want love around the house, like around couples around the, you know what I mean? If it's not, it, I mean, love is always in your heart anyway. It should be in your heart. But if you don't have, just because you're not living happily ever after, with the white gate and the little dog and who cares like life is about your endeavors your experience your truth you can't live somebody else's truth have you ever seen somebody that okay just like i would probably say i've gotten more comfortable in leggings and outfits like this since I've lost my weight and since I've worked at X Ford and been around you know the chicks with the bodies and you know they just put it out there you know so you know I had to build my confidence up you know what I mean so uh I I, I wouldn't say that these clothes is natural to my temple to my element 
this wouldn't be something that I would naturally pull to. But I'm the type of person that I change. I like changing my style. I like changing my look. I like altering my hair from this side to that side, to flip to this, to that, to that. So I never, I can never do locks or lock permanently into a style because I like changing stuff. I wear braids a lot because I'm in the growth process right now. Well, y'all gonna see once they grow out. I change my hair so much and I'm going to rock a beautiful fro. Yes. One day. Future hair goes. Um, so, I just believe that if you never like whooping, you should stop whooping your children. Like I said, first off, apologize if you ever did anything. You can take apology all the way back to when you was two. It don't matter. Start now. Just think about it like this. And we're not even going to get into our situation, our personal situation. We could do that on another video. But think about it like this. If you ever went through any type of trauma or life trauma, I, I never, I can never actually, I can actually say that I never experienced any firsthand trauma from my parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? They knocked my tooth out when I was little or black my ass. You know what I mean? We definitely got our fair share of whooping. You know what I'm saying? Feelings hurt. <laughs> Cussed out. We got our fair share. But I wouldn't say that I had trauma. Like, you know, deep rooted trauma that I just can't get over, that can't be resolved, the relation you know, can't resolve the relationship with my my mother or my father. I mean, I feel like every black parent, every parent period has some deficiencies. We all have some things that we can improve on, we can fix, we can make better because we all have things in our own personal life, not just parents, because we're a solid individual by ourselves that we want to improve on. So we all have things that we can improve on. We got room for improvement, baby. Yes, we do. We got room for one place proven. But it's just about being aware of what needs to be adjusted, adjusted so that you don't have that cycle repeated. Even if it's a cycle that you started, because you decided to start a cycle. You could be a not you could be, yeah, like I say, a narcissistic parent. Or have narcissistic ways. You may not be narcissistic all the way because I motivate my children I encourage them I give them good feedback I encourage them I never call them nigga mother this mother that I never do anything like that but I know that I have narcissistic ways because I'm very controlling and I can admit that because I'm trying to heal I'm very controlling I like certain things a certain way like if you put a book in the shelf the wrong way you gonna have to fix it. Like now. Um, yeah, yeah. So when it comes to like putting things back in order and neatness, now I don't think that I'm vain about it, but for boys, for boys, it becomes almost like every five, ten minutes. Do this, do this, pick that up, get that. Don't forget, don't do this, don't stop this. <laughs> Sometimes, because they all over the place. My daughter, she's so, she cool, she mellow, she gonna chill, you know what I mean? Give us something to do, she gonna knock it out and she ain't gonna keep getting up, jumping around. Them, you gotta keep reeling them in. Getting them focused. Right back. And see, they call that autism. Autistic behavior. It's on the spectrum. I refuse to give my children medication for not being able to be still. I can't be still. 
They get it from their mama. <laughs> I can't be still. I cannot be still. So I probably I'm probably on that spectrum too. Not probably, I am. ADHD, ADD, one of them. I'm probably on that too. And you don't have to take medication for everything. Embrace it. Work around it. Use it to your advantage. If you know, now that you know that you have it, now you can try to fix it. Well, I'm not going to say, but you heal it. You can have fix it, heal it. Because your body has a way of healing itself. It's majority of the time, it's the food, it's the diet. We go right back to that. To the diet. To the diet. The diet. The food. <laughs> and y'all know my channel. I have like healthier meals. I'm not all healthy. I'm not vegan. I'm not totally vegan because I don't feel like that's good for your brain either. Because you got to understand that our DNA has been built for, it wasn't originally built. Not the origination of what we came from. But since we've been here as a people, we have been eating, congesting this stuff. Eating, congesting this stuff. Now, our parents, our grandparents lived, some of our grandparents lived 90, 100 years old. Because they was eating off the farm, they was eating off the land. And that's cool. That's great. Because they was raising their own food, eating off the land. Even if they was working at the same time, working for this part. You know, but they was eating the food that they was taking care of, they was raising, they was feeding their own hogs that they was eating all. It was it was their own. Now we processing everything, we getting everything from the store. You can't go get no hog. You can't go buy no hog and put it in the yard. So everything is different now. Everything is different now. So it's different now. We got to be different now. We got to raise our expectations. We have to think about, and like right now, I don't have on no makeup. I don't think that it's important to wear makeup all the time. That's this light thing that make it look like you have on makeup. I put on lipstick. I did put on mascara. And I put a little some on my eyebrows. But I haven't done my eyebrows in... I don't even know how long because I have bought this little eyebrow thing and I want to use it. So I have to let my eyebrows grow in a little bit so that I can actually get a decent arch. Because if you shave them before they go grow back, I mean, I used to do it all the time, but they thin out. And who wants thin eyebrows? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. I'm feeling that wine, y'all. Hey, hey. Put on the music. I don't know, I'm a night owl. And this is the only way that I've been able to do my videos. So I had to figure it out. Like, I had to give me a little late night or weekend schedule. So I'm trying to do regular videos late night. Um, I just have to do it when, you know, overnight. You gotta use the time you have. Because, I mean, unless I'm doing like a video where I wanna include the kids because I can't get upset with them about interrupting my videos. They don't understand that. Like, they're babies. They're not babies. My youngest is six. They're not babies. They can understand. They can comprehend very well. Very, very well. Especially all that technology stuff. They comprehend that stuff like this. They know how to work a phone and all that. So they're not babies. Um, I don't even like using that term. And this the guy actually who made a post on my Facebook. He the one who actually awakened me to some people's thoughts about that term, babies. Mothers calling their children babies. Because a lot of times it's it's different ways that we can be hurtful that we can hurt our children that you can um what's the word that i'm looking for that you can slow their development that you can stunt their growth 
you can um, be too overly motherly. Uh, over what is it? Not too mother, too motherly, overly motherly. You could be, you, you could be too attentive and not allowing the child to breathe. So they can't think, they can't do, they can't. And that was also one of my issues. I was guiding him or guiding them on every single thing, every single day. And it became the routine. I never let them do it on their own. So it's important to allow them to take, once you show them, let them take off. You know, I had to learn. So I'm just sitting down on my stool. Hopefully it don't stick to my bottom. Cause, uh, <laughs> I gotta retake it. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta get in the gym, y'all. Yeah. Get in the gym, yeah. Your girl is not. Hey, I made it to 38 though, y'all. My birthday. I didn't even do like a little celebration or nothing. I didn't do a celebration video. I didn't take pictures or anything. I took a couple pictures tonight though. So, I'm 38. I need to do a little. Well, I, I actually did. I did do a little celebration, but it was in my room on my bed. <laughs> that was what I want to call a celebration. And they blocked the video. So, my last four little points, I think I made them already, which was, like I said, transform. We are Brazilian people. Like, we are built I don't know where they got that built for it tough. We are built for this year, you know what I mean? So coronavirus, all this other stuff that a lot of people is like really traumatized by. I know it's a lot of us who is just pushing through. We not fret, I want to say. I don't want to say it like, you know, I mean, we just get that corona. I ain't wearing no mask or none of that. No, we're not ignorant with it. But I feel like it is a lot of, um, let me see what. It's a lot of us that are just embracing it. Like, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We got to do what we got to do as a people. We got to do better. And this is the time right now. This is the time we should be taking advantage of this time that we got with our kids. So we can't break all these cycles. Like, this is the time. Like, we finna get it right this time. This next generation finna be born. They finna be doctors. And all the leaders in the country. <laughs> all the leaders in the world. And y'all know I'm not super educated. I'm not, I don't have a career, a professional career. I don't work in the white collar field. Y'all know, I'm just a girl from a shack, born, raised in the suburbs. Uh, love to work with my hands. I work with my hands. I love to work with my hands. Like, period. That's what I do. I do things with my hands. I love learning new things. Like learning new languages. And that's something that I would love, 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 love. Because I know that I have a tongue like for Spanish. El Español. Como esta? <laughs> we been. I know a few, a few things, but. I don't know enough to like, I know enough to get on the airplane and ask somebody they name. Diablo. Un poquito. 
I saw it's coming back to me. I gotta, I have to go through my head. But see, I have to use it more frequently. And that's the thing, like Mandarin, I would love to like learn to speak Mandarin or Portuguese. Like one of them real hard languages to learn. Sign language, you know, I keep my sign language books. So, um, yeah, I, I know a little bit of sign language. So, uh, we, we just like learning different things, you know. I try really hard to, like, use both hands if I can. Uh, brush on my teeth. I brush with my left and my right. Um, some things that I just can't not do with my left. But right on the board, I know y'all know if y'all can see it. Hold on. Oops. Oh, that's why I look so crazy. Can I zoom in? I don't know if I can zoom. No, I can't zoom. Well, that right there on the board, I wrote it with my left hand. So, that's why I look a little bit crazy. <laughs> I look like one of the kids wrote it. But uh, I try to write with my left hand. I try to um, shoot pool with my left. I just feel like anything that we can do to expand or retain more brain power or just grow. Anything that we can do, I feel like we should be doing it. Like that should be something that we should be interested in and I know like like everybody's not like that and I get that I understand that I completely get that that everybody don't desire to just learn something new every day learn something new continuously just learn something new learn something new and I don't desire to do it every day either no I don't especially a day I done stood up braid hair cook dinner whatever else homeschool no actually i don't i've learned over time not to even put that much stuff on my plate so i don't even try to put that much stuff on my plate like that no more um trying to do two or three heads in one day and i know i gotta cook dinner for my kids um i just had homeschool earlier and no i would not do that now for you all, for this channel, to grow this channel, I'm going to start doing overnight videos. So, I'm going to, you know, take the time to do that. But, um, as far as uh, having people at my house to 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, it's not really like that. Now, once I build my clientele up again... Because I really, I really need to, I really need to probably go ahead and get get my license again. Because I see now they really trying to, but see that's why I like to do the um, learning sessions. Because I don't want to, I don't want to just, I never wanted to just be a stylist and just be behind the chair and just do hair. I wanted to own the shop. Y'all know. Me and Dooney wanted to own the shop. And um, she was more of the like, she was into more of the like hair show type of styles. Because she could do all the weaves and all that type of stuff. I was more of the basic, like basic, like wraps. You come for me, wraps and box braids. Some simple stuff. I never really got into the weeds until I met Dominique. All right, I'm getting off. <laughs> I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. But y'all know I'm on video, so I love y'all. I love y'all. See, y'all know I don't have an outlet. I don't get out that much. <laughs> I don't have uh, people that call me as often. And I don't call people like I should, too. So, I just know that we got to give our babies a sense of hope. You know? So, it starts with us as parents. You know? 
and this is what we have these YouTube channels for. So we can learn from each other, so we can grow, so we can learn some of the stuff that we didn't have the money and we couldn't afford to go to school and learn. But we're going to still give it to our baby so that they can know, you know. So I want us to stop focusing so much on the children and their happiness. Focus on their substance. Now, I didn't get that from a video or nothing like that. I just said that just now. But I feel like us focusing on their happiness all the time is what is bringing them down. We're trying to give them everything that we didn't have. Everything we didn't have. You know, TV in your room, a car when you turn 16, beautiful prom dress with limousine all the things that your parents didn't give you the Jordans the um yeah sorry I'm, I'm feeling myself I'm hey you know sometimes you just be <laughs> sipping on that wine <laughs> so you just can't stop talking to yourself when you in love with yourself you don't have to be in love with yourself but I'm in love myself i had to become this way you all don't understand it was a transformation i dropped 70 pounds i dropped a negative toxic relationship and i'm in love with me finally finally in me and i feel like one day someday when the time is right my true love will find me He'll find me. And we'll connect. And it'll be just like this, like magic. Because I believe in love at first sight. If I don't feel it in the first five minutes, if you don't feel them butterflies, and you don't feel some, I don't want one of them. I don't, I, well, I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, look, I'm still learning about this love thing. Sometimes it's your best friend. Sometimes it's somebody that was your best friend the whole time and you didn't even notice. You didn't like, you didn't even pay them attention like that. You know what I mean? So if it happened like that, I'd be open to it too because I'm like, this hope is romantic. I just believe in love. You know what I mean? Love. And I believe that people can transform so y'all know I love being a big boy and I believe if he wants to he can transform and we can do it together baby but anyway back to the mission <laughs> the mission is changing breaking these cycles yeah we gotta do better we gotta do better for these babies because they gotta do better for their babies our grandbabies we want trust fund g babies i always say that my grandbabies gonna be trust fund babies and none of that struggling grandma i don't know how i'm gonna get my graduation cap and gown because we ain't got no money and i'm over here living in retirement home and i don't know either so i'm gonna say it like this Primerica ain't the way. Uh, what all these other Walmart ain't the way. All these other little entities where we putting all our money into that that's not the way. I don't have a problem with people doing Primerica, but I I I tried Primerica back went way back way 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 back when that was back back in them after them foot locker days you know so i was in my 20s before i had children i invested two three hundred dollars in it you know i put up money in it if you're not cut out if you're not passionate about something that's where it, it falls flat that's how I go. 
So it's time to embrace those dreams, those heartfelt dreams. Block out those fears. It's nothing to fear. What was that to say? It's nothing to fear but fear itself. It's nothing to fear but the fear in. I do want to cut sometimes, y'all. I do. <laughs> the mother, mother self. I do be saying mother, mother. I say mother, mother. If I've got something real to say, I do like mother, mother. Mother, mother. All right. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm just going to say, we all have a little mental issues, but I'm not crazy. I just want what I want, and I feel like I'm going to get what I want, and whatever else. You know what I mean? I'm a cool person. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to socialize with you. I don't want you in my business because I ain't going to be in yours. I don't call you all the time because I, I don't want you calling me all the time. And I just think people should have peace in their life. Peace. Peace in your life. So if you like whatever you like, if you like video games, have your peace in your video games and have your whole video game room set up. And then when I come over there, you showing me your stuff and woo woo. Okay. I'm into animals. I'm going to have animals and you know what I mean? So, do you. That's what life is about. Oh, I was saying that about the clothes when I started talking about clothes and I got to throw it off. I don't know why. I throw it off myself because there ain't nobody else here to throw me off. But, I was talking about the clothes. Do you, have you ever seen somebody and they have been, they're in clothes and they don't look comfortable in the clothes? They look like they're wearing somebody else's clothes. Like, and they said it fidgeting and that's why I was saying about my clothes, you know, I'm always moving on these leggings and because it just don't fit naturally on my body shape. I'm not used to it and it's just something I do, I guess. I'm not used to it. But you see that a lot. You'll see that a lot with a lot of women anyway, pulling up our leggings. And I mean, the leggings, they do slide down. But um, if you see somebody that's not naturally in their right clothes like they trying to fit in they, you know it just you it it's all over them it's just it's all over it's fake it's phony like they say this you can't tell a bad parent because a parent a bad parent can like disguise themselves really well like yeah look yeah, parenting is hard. I, I will tell anybody, if anybody says not, they are lying. They are lying through they beautiful teeth. They are. I'm going to say beautiful teeth because I know most people will, will go hard because they lie. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if they lie, you're going to say they got ugly teeth. But, yeah, most people... It's gonna tell you the real about parenting. Parenting is hard. It's hard. There's no book. There's no handbook. There's no map. No nothing to follow. Parenting is hard. So you gotta do the best that you can. But we need to stop beating each other. We need to form some type of support system. I seen. Uh, I'm gonna do a review for this movie too. So I don't really wanna talk about it too much. But I seen this movie called American Skin. They was going through some traumatic issues. And they was able to stand there and hold hands. And that is the... Even if she had a girl, if she had a guy and he had a girl, they should still be able to hold hands. They just lost their child. That is not nothing... That's something intimate because they have a child. But that is not nothing sexual. Everything doesn't have to be sexualized. And I feel like that is what the problem is. But I'm healing now. And that's why I feel like sex has to be removed. I am going to come back with another video. I tell y'all, I got some videos that I got to do. I'm going to start doing them. I'm going to start doing them at night. I'm telling y'all, I got my, I got a rhythm. I'm starting. All right. So 2021, we in here. We in here. All right. Y'all going to see my face a lot more. Uh, yeah, but we got to, we got to, we got to have these discussions. We have to, got to have we have to have these discussions. Like, we have to change. Parents, you can't be petty. You can't be petty. You know what I mean? We have to remove 
some of the emotion. I know women, we emotional, we have our ups and downs. But we have to remove some of the emotion when it comes to our children's fathers and them being fathers. Let them be fathers. Let them be fathers. I don't call my daughter constantly asking her, is her father doing this? Is her father doing Why? Did he, and then that's just something to give you to, to bicker and nag about. Bicker and nagging, fussing, cussing, yelling, screaming. All that is just, it's, it's all negative in having more negative it's like you spitting on your child and it's just spitting having them spit droplets all over your babies don't spit them out don't spit them up spit them out spit them up spit them out love them up just try to learn to lead with love discipline with love Parent with love. Parent, just try to do everything with love in a loving way. If you have to think about Claire Huxtable or, or some mother that you met before and she was so nice and kind, then do that. You know what I mean? Do that. Think about the person that is the best mother, the mother of the year, Michelle Obama, whoever you think. I don't know. Because you you never really know, like I like I said, um, they were saying that there was a study done that actual social workers couldn't determine if the parents were good parents or bad parents just by meeting them. So I believe that I'm a good sense, like I can sense, I can get a vibe from a person. You know what I mean? But um, I'm not into social work. I thought about going into social work. So I know that definitely um, if I had a professional career, a professional, professional career, because um, not that a cosmetology is not a professional career, but it's not a white collar career. And that is what I see myself as a youth. I see myself as a somewhere in the banking field. I just knew that I was going to work in the bank. I just knew that somewhere, it may not have been the finance department because I wasn't super great with numbers, but it was. I was going to be in there somewhere. I was going to be inside that bank somewhere. But um, I just knew that I wanted a white collar job and working cosmetology I also found myself learning administrative work, like filing and working behind the desk. Well, I had did that before then, but I had, you know, did that and organizing stuff. You know, I worked at a record company um, where I organized the records. I, I, I'm telling y'all, I had over, I had 40 jobs. I had 40 jobs. Uh, yeah, I need to make a song about that. Um, so, I believe that we need to encourage these babies. And I just had some things that I wanted to share with you all. So, I hope that you all tuned in to the end of this video. Because I know it was pretty long. I know it was. And it's hard. It's hard for me to just sit here and talk to the screen, but I feel like if this is what I have to do in order to get enough followers so we can go live, because that's ultimately the goal. Y'all know I like going live. I was a live person on Facebook. <laughs> I like doing my lives on Facebook. Um, and I don't even watch my lives after, you know. I don't, I don't like to even see myself because... I get to critiquing myself. So, I'm a live person. Like, I like to just go with the flow. Like, this video, I'm not going to look at it and edit it before I load it. I'm just going to load it. I'm just going to load it, and then I'll watch it after it loads. <laughs> so, I'll watch it when y'all watch it. That's how I do it. 
and um that's how i want my channel that's how i always want my channel now i will eventually if i if i can get my son to put his edit video editing game over videos because he got some editing skills he's only 13 so i don't want it to make i don't want to make it like a job if i'm not able to pay him you know what i mean so if i get him to participate and help out with the video editing and stuff and i do some more more uh you know videos where i'm talking I'll try to have it like a little bit more action, some pop-ups on the side and you know, some things moving around so you like more entertained, some bombs dropping like, are you more entertained? Some sounds and you know, the baby crying, Wee! you know, <laughs> I can see it. I got the vision, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. Look, my tech skills is Horrible, and I'm not putting myself down because I know that I could, I can learn anything, but my tech, my patience for technology, but new technology is is very thin. The window is very thin. Like I don't, I'll come. I put in like a good twenty minutes. If I don't, if I don't figure it out in a good twenty minutes, thirty minutes, I'm gonna put that down. So uh, I tried a couple editing apps, but I haven't found one that I really like working with. So I'm gonna keep trying them, and I'll get it myself, or he'll do it, or eventually somebody will reach out to me. And want to help me with my videos or however. So I wanted to introduce the lady. Well, not introduce, but I wanted to give a shout out. I guess you want to call it shout out. We still saying shout out. We need to come up with a new call, new roll call, whatever title. Uh, I want to say what's up to Brandy Wells. She is a social worker. She is a social worker. Now she had a TED talk, y'all. It was good. It was so interesting. Like, she was real. She was natural. She was, you know, kept your um, eye, you know, was, and I don't mean like she was just so sexy, super sexy, or drop dead gorgeous. Or like. She was beautiful. She was definitely beautiful. The queen was beautiful. But I definitely want to give a shout out on her TED talk because she's like, she was just, you know, held your attention. And it wasn't like it was something like uh, her speech just, uh, I can't even understand her or it's, I'm not comprehending or, no, it was on point. Like it was perfect. I didn't want to click. I didn't want to turn. I just watched the whole thing. Brandy Wells, awesome job, queen. You did that. You did that. You did that. So, yeah, she was talking about some stuff. She was dropping some bombs, talking about epigenetics. She was, I mean, she was talking about some stuff, honey. So, watch her TED Talk. She said she's Brandy Wells. She's a social worker. And she lives in King Lincoln District. I've never even heard of that. So, y'all know what a sister gonna do. Google. It sounds exclusive. It sounds really exclusive. So, you know, people like her who are, I consider, white-collar professionals, I feel like these are the ones, especially the, when they think about us, you know, they talk about, they talk about the fact that slavery has traumatic effects on us, that we still dealing with post-traumatic slave syndrome that we have the ability to change and we have the ability to grow and we have the ability to elevate each other and take our children to different levels when i hear queens like that talking and i'm an undereducated you know mama i'm just you know black in the hood brain hell babysitting you know what i mean candy stole out the side the back door no i ain't got no candy stole so don't send them people over here i ain't got no candy stole a long time ago okay <laughs> but uh yeah 
I'm just like, I'm just like a regular old normal mom. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do, you know, I ain't doing no candy store. <laughs> I ain't doing no good and stuff with no coronavirus right now. Yeah. Y'all about to be crazy. If you having people in and out of in and out your house, if you doing anything other than hibernating, honing in with your kids, yes, I'm back open. I am I'm still doing hair. But I make sure my kids stay upstairs the whole time that I'm doing a client. So even if they want water, they have cases of water in their room. That's how I made it. Because I don't want, I don't want the people, excuse me, the clients to feel like I'm putting my kids on them or around them or subjecting them to them. If you, you know, I do let everybody know that I have kids and they will be upstairs. If they have to come down here, I make them put their mask on. If they have to come down here, you know, in the kitchen for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I thank y'all for tuning in to this wine episode. And when I say wine, you look, I thought about wine because, you know, wine is, uh, what is it, a homophone? So we got wine, wine, and then we got wine, wine, wine. So, I thought about it like that, you know, like, I can make this a real, you did, you know what I mean? Because your wine is basically when you're talking about people and you're complaining, you're negative, and you, you know, you, you talk about stuff that you, you can't physically change, but you're talking about it anyway. You ain't doing nothing but wine in the morning, nagging. So... I want to talk about it not in a whining, no moaning, nagging, complaining type of way. I want to talk about it like we can do this. We can do this. We can do this as black mothers, as black, as parents, as a people in this year, 2021. Kiss yourself. You made it. Kiss yourself, baby, because you made it. Now, I told y'all, you can't give love to everybody and you not stopping and taking the time to get love to yourself. And you looking around and wonder why people ain't loving you like you want to be loved. Why? Why? That's another video. Why they ain't loving me? Why? 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 Yes, I'm alone. Yes, I'm single. Yes, I drink sometimes when I get lonely and them feelings, whatever. Or sometimes I just feel like the kids are put away, you know, they're asleep, they're tucked in, and now I can do something adult like. And if it's a hat, if it's pouring a glass of wine, so be it. So, I thank y'all so much for tuning in to this very long, lengthy video. But I want to start doing these more regularly. So, they're not always this long when I do do them. And as y'all know, I don't have an outlet right now. I don't have a serious outlet. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's the reason why. I have this push or this desire to do the uh, YouTube channel, you know, and just share my life experiences, just share my thoughts and share, just share information. Cause I'm not trying to hear, I'm not here to dictate nobody's life. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your kids or nothing like that. No, no, not at all. I just want people to know that it's hard. I'm gonna keep it real. They gonna keep it, fate over there. I'm gonna get the trio over here. All the way truth and real. Truth and real. Truth and real. I'm gonna have an intro. I know I, I just see the vision for it. I'm gonna have an intro coming soon. Within I say within the next three months I'm gonna have an intro. You know because 
the main focus of this channel is breaking cycles but i do so many other things and i thought about creating another channel with the animals but i'm not going to do that because it's too much work and not that i'm lazy and i don't want to put in the work for myself because i'm building my own brand but i don't want people to be confused and i don't want people to have to go over here for this and go over here for this and go over here for this i just want like if you love animals you want to tune into my animal videos everything gonna be still here up under the channel just up under different albums and that's how i'm just gonna section it okay so y'all bear with me patience thank you patience but you know somebody told me and it's actually on that video on the comments on that video somebody told me that Sabali it does not even mean patience that it means something else I can't remember what it means he said it meant. and he said he spoke that actual language so he said that didn't even mean patience so, you know, we got to do our own research, you know, be singing these songs and we promote people's messages. And, you know, especially when we get into other languages, because we're going to learn some different languages, y'all. We're going to learn some different languages. We ain't got these little chingy ass for nothing. I guarantee I'm going to learn some Mandarin one day. It's very hard to try to learn something new while you're trying to teach kids the the, the old stuff that you've already learned so it's like you relearning that too at the same time so it's hard right now so i don't ever put too much on my plate but i like to have uh i'm looking at this phone who or what would be notifying me at this time of night but i like to have this uh channel to have these uh, well, I want to have discussions because I want to do lives. So I like to have this parenting dialogue sometime, you know, around the, so the summertime where we have an actual panel of people, of parents. And, you know, we're talking about our babies. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mentioned it to a couple people and somebody going to get intrigued. It's one of these videographers, you know, so... I'm not putting the pressure because it's all about natural flow. I'm all totally, 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 totally about natural flow. I don't like pressure put on me, so I'm not going to put no pressure on you. And everybody know that. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. From my mama to my daddy to my sister to everybody. I'm not going to put no pressure on you about nothing. Even if you tell me you're going to do something. Even if you give me your word about something, I'm not going to keep calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you, calling When you say you're going to do that, do you say you're going to do that, do you say you're going to do that, do you say you're going to do that? No, I'm going to get up and I'm going to get it. And if I can't go get up, go get it, I'm going to just, like, sometimes you guys just throw your hands up and be like, move on. Inhale, exhale, and move on. All right? So, Bust a bottle open. What's that song? That song they keep playing on the word? Bust it, bust it, bust it. Bust a bottle open. I was talking about some bust it, bust it. We got enough sexualized going on right now. So that's another video we gonna come back to. Why we selling it? Why we don't do nothing? Why we over here drinking standard state juice stuff? Peace, naturally royal, beautiful people. Let me get off y'all's screen. Love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I so appreciate y'all for real. Because it's, it's hard for a, a YouTube channel today. 2021. People doing extra stuff. Eating their own poop just for YouTube channel. Are you crazy? I mean, for TikTok, for whatever this girl... I've been hearing some stuff, y'all. So, I got some stuff to talk about. It's probably late. I'm probably, I'm probably late on a lot of stuff. But, hey, y'all know how I am. I don't let no form of social media entertainment, none of this stuff, pull you in. If it hits your eye, then it's time for you to see it. If it don't, it wasn't meant for you. If it's somebody throw it your way or send it to you, that's different. You know what I mean? Take your time to check it out. So, y'all keep me and my 
when y'all go to click in channels looking for stuff to watch because i'm gonna be coming back with some more videos all right try to do this as often as i can okay i'm gonna say at least once a week once a week all right hold me to it hold me to that now hold me to that because i need a little pressure get this channel right mm, excuse me i don't mean to burp on the outro but love y'all peace love and compassion don't forget it. We can't. We can't. Because every day, they make it hard. They make it hard. Hard, hard, hard for us. So, peace, love, and compassion. Always, always, always. Love y'all. Ashley Royal.